capacitor, battery, and then we have the super capacitor. The good thing about capacitors as a power storage is that they will charge up very fast, almost instantly. The bad thing is that they store a very low charge, so we can use them to power a device. On the other hand, a battery such as this one here, for the same volume, it will store a lot of power, between 2 and 3000 mAh, but is very slow to charge. So in the middle we have the super capacitors. They still have the fast charging, but they could also store a lot of charge. For example, this one is of 500 farads. But the discharge curves will look like this. A battery will more or less keep its voltage almost till the end, and then will drop. But the capacitor will discharge linearly, so by half of the charge, the voltage will be already too low to use. But as a power density, we have this other graph, so consider this information for any of your future projects that requires a power supply.